Hi, it is so good to have you here with me. So I've been getting a lot of calls and DMs from people on how to handle facial hair. It turns out to be quite a prickly problem given the lockdown. For me, I've been very lucky because I've been self-threading for the last few decades. I find it super easy, super convenient. It's very, very easy to do once you get the hang of it. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to spool the thread, how to prop your upper lip and how to get started. Let's go. So we have a thread here. You can even do it with a regular sewing thread. It's not bad at all. Make sure the tension is not too high in that one. Otherwise, these spools are also available in stores. This spool lasts me almost about a year, year and a half. So as we twine this thread, keep in mind that everything needs to twine towards you. So taking your index finger, start twining towards yourself. About four is good. You loop it around your other hand and then we need to secure this thread. So you take your thumb and spool it again towards your side. Now my right hand is going to again spool towards me making a scissor. And here you go. This scissor is going to function with this being your action and this is where the hair is going to get trapped. Action, trap. Once you get adept at it, you can adjust it to what you need. But to begin with, it's good to keep the area small so that you have more control over the area. The whole action is centered around moving this entwined thread forward and away from the hair. So we go forward, away, forward, away, forward, away. So now that we have the scissor more or less, it's also important to know how to maneuver your tongue underneath your upper lip to make sure you're getting good grip over the area. Use the tip of your tongue to prop up the areas. So, one, two, three. You'll also need to prop it up a little bit so you're getting the upper lip line. A good way to do that is to actually throw your tongue against the upper lip and spread it out so you have the entire lip extended. You then need powder. You can use talcum powder or you can also use specific powder used for threading. It's again available in the same store where you're going to get your spool from. How do you get started? A good way to get started is to actually go on your forehead because you kind of get a good sense of how to control it and you can feel the tug. And I've been doing this for decades. So I just go all over without an issue. What I find more convenient than using my tongue is to just tighten my upper lip. Remember to go in closer to your nostrils so that you are able to get the stray hair here as well. You can even go into your chin. Ah, that hurt. You can do your eyebrows. I generally clean up the top area with that. You may notice that when I'm threading, I'm not really using my index finger to open up the thread. I'm guessing that's happening because I've become so adept at it that my this fingers are able to control the thread moving forward and backward. You can go into the center as well. Remember, the more adept you get at it, the better control you have over it. And, but as you get started, it's just always better to keep it short and taut. I'm saying that again and again because a lot of people get frustrated with the length, not able to get enough control and they give up. But it's a great way to just make sure you're maintaining your upper lip at all times because this is one hair which is like the most irritating and quite a damp squib. Stick with it. It's not hard at all. It's just a matter of practice. I hope that was helpful. I'll catch you soon. Stay home, stay safe. Ciao.